All right, Gaver bringing us another 64 gigabyte with over 1100 titles with a Green Beast theme. The same guy that brought us the Knight Rider theme, that brought us the Terminator theme. Uh, let's check this one out. 64, you know I like it. Here we go. We're in, we're prompted with controller setup. This is looking good. This is Gaver's green beast image 64 gigabyte nice size we've been getting a lot of 64s lately love to see that as the 64 gigabyte you know it's about 20 bucks for sandus ultra so really nice really good size um, if you have a 128 you can expand on that add to it uh, all games 1100 628 um, so as you can see a very basic theme here and when you actually click in the games it is just box art and uh, has kind of a green font. Um, I, I do like this font though. Um, I forget the name of it, but um, it's kind of like a, um, to me, I kind of think of it similar to The Great Gatsby. I don't know why. <laughs> that font just reminds me of kind of like that era. But anyways, um, there's not so much like any kind of uh, beastliness to it as much as just, you know, a green and black carbon theme basically so instead of carbon fiber it's kind of got a green gradation here all the systems are green outlines instead of you know carbon fiber and then when you go in the system it's got that different font and it has um green lines on here now um the actual systems actually are colored if you see in the upper left corner here the they are colored logos there but out here their colored logos in the middle, and then the systems are the system icons at the top are green. So that's the pretty much the gist of that um, of this theme. Let's see what's in RetroPie. So uh, no scripts, pre-installed, basic. Um, it is running the latest version of RetroPie, and let's see what we got here. Let's go to the left this time. So it is no video snaps. It is box art. It doesn't look like you got box art for fantastic night dreams or capcom generations you got crash bandicoot dead or alive no box art but it should work dot Do and pachi really good um really good side uh shoot em up um oh i guess that's the that's the sequel formula one gran turismo marvel superheroes or street fighter marvel superheroes marvel vs. capcom Mega Man x4 5 6 and metal slug x Mortal Kombat 4 Trilogy, Need for Speed 3, I believe this is. Um, some more shoot 'em ups Tekken and Thunder Force. So, Gabber is known for having lots of shoot 'em ups so if you like shoot 'em ups always a good image to go with. So, already that's a big differentiator in that it has a lot of shoot 'em ups for PlayStation. PC Engine 383, nice collection there. Neo Geo Pocket Color 40, Neo Geo Pocket 9, Nintendo 792. That's all of them. Neo Geo. So you can see when you get into Neo Geo and Nintendo, there is the majority of the box art here. So it is only the PlayStation. And uh, this is the three-way. So like you're missing one there. Amazon Diet. Um, you get the box art, the cart, and the screensaver and the logo. Neo Geo, similar. Den64, only 21. Um, and as you can see here, no box art for this one. Kind of an interesting collection here. MSX 567. You don't see this on all the images, so nice to see MSX. I mean, this really does bring the game count up pretty high. MSX adds another 600. Second Mega Drive, Second Genesis. Again, uh, good job on the box art. By now, like Super Nintendo, NES. Sega Master System, the box art is really easy to get, so you would expect this all to be nice and perfect. Sega Master System. MAME, only 558, and if I remember right, a lot of shoot 'em ups. But I believe this does have Final Burn Alpha, which we're going to find your CPSs and things like that on there as well. Game Boy Color, 535, Game Boy Advance, 1125, Game Boy 669, Game Gear, 249, Game & Watch, nice to see these, only 59. As your Donkey Kong, your Mickey Mouse, things like that. <clears throat> Final Fantasy 
family computer disk system 84 final burn so here if you add this to the main it's a total of almost 1900 arcade games and uh, so here's a lot more shoot 'em ups your metal slug will be in here your Michael Jackson moonwalker your Ninja Turtles Simpsons um, alien vs predator Captain America Battletoads all that stuff will be in here um, I really like this font. I think the font is really easy to read. I like that. Even in the metadata on the right side there, easy to read. Coleco, 118. Nice to see those. Link, 76. Atari, 7854. 2600, 648. Oh, wow. So it has arcade as well. What's over here? Okay. So MAME is running a MAME emulator and then Arcade must be running a different emulator as well. Not sure if there's duplicates there. But 2200. Yeah, there's duplicates. Okay, so this has your Final Burn Alpha and your MAME combined. Plus a few more. Okay. So a lot there. Um, you do have all games as well. You also have some collections. You have the NES Classic listing all your NES Classic games. And this is correct. So the NES Classic that came out, and then the SNES Classic. All those games that came with the SNES Classic are there. So if you want to show something like, oh yeah, it's got the SNES Classic. Oh, here's all the games. And then uh, you should have Star Fox 2 somewhere. Except there's no St Star Fox 2. <laughs> Maybe you got to unlock it, huh? Um, and then you could do last plate as well, and I think you can mess around with this even more. Screensaver mode, UI mode, stuff like that. Themes, you got carbon, and that's it. Um, game collections, we got all those on. Custom game collections, we have. You can add some more, but we have the SNES Classic and the NES Classic. But you can always add more if you want. Really easy. You can add screen savers really easy. Last played, what's he been playing? Oh, nice. Some Game & Watch. Crash. Some Shoot 'em Ups. Bomberman. Sonic CD, a great one. Um, so nice to see some CD games as well. Did we okay, Sega CD 5. Earthworm Jim, Final Fight. Shadow of the Beast, Sonic the Hedgehog, The Terminator. Oh, we never went all the way through. Sorry, Virtual Boy 24, Vetrix 23, Super Nintendo 779, SG 1000, 68, 5 Sega CD, 33 Sega, 32 X, and then we're back at RetroPie. So a nice collection of some of the older systems as well. You know, a lot of times those older, older systems are missed out, so good to see those. Um, I'm going to give this image a B plus. I mean, I would like to see video snaps. Or like to see some more Nintendo 64, or you know, do a little bit more customization on the theme. But I have to say, like, if you want a really no BS theme, like really, like look how fast this scrolls. You know, this scrolls really fast. Like, it's a really optimized experience. Oh, I, adding to favorites is why, by the way. Um, if you want a really uh, smooth experience, let's try a Nintendo game here. Act one. All right. So no bezels. Um, but uh, nice. Okay, so this working fine. So it is a bezel list. Some people haven't been liking bezels. So for those people that don't want a bezel, you know, there you go. <clears throat> so as is mentioning. For um, for optimization purposes, it's well well optimized. You can build off it as well. You know, add some uh, add themes, stuff like that. It's very easy to do. This looks very good. Nice. All right. Nice. So. Ooh, look at that invisible block. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Super Nintendo. Oh, we want to see if it had Star Fox 2. I mean, if you really want an SNES Classic, 
Yeah, okay. They have two duplicates on the Star Fox and no Star Fox 2, so do need to fix that on the next one. Getting the Star Fox 2 on there. All right. And uh, there you have it. You can add more collections, do all sorts of things. This is the Green Beast. B+. Plus. I like that it's optimized. I like the game collection. I like the 64 gigabyte size. I like that he's you know trying new stuff. I love the Terminator. I love the Knight Rider. The um, loading screen was cool, uh, but you know Star Fox 2, some more game collections. Make sure that's all set up. Watch for dupes. Um, and there's just a lot of 64 competition out there right now, so I can't just give everyone like a full full grade. Um, you know, when people are just making theirs better and better and better and revising it, this is the first iteration of this. You know, maybe it has a second iteration, maybe not. So there you have it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, it should fit on a standard 64. It's not that big. Um, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.